Welcome to Tesl Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Today we will be covering ArcGIS Pro image segmentation. In this video, I will discuss what is segmentation and then I will show you how to perform the image segmentation task using the classification wizard. Segmentation and classification tools provide an approach to extracting features from imagery based on objects. These objects are created via an image segmentation process where pixels in close proximity and having similar spectral characteristics are grouped together into a segment. Segmentation and classification tools provide an approach to extracting features from imagery based on objects. These objects are created via an image segmentation process where pixels in close proximity and having similar spectral characteristics are grouped together into a segment. Image segmentation is the first step towards the supervised object-based image classification. To start the segmentation process, first we will use extract bands option from the raster function. We want to convert this red, green, blue image into 431 band combination from 1, 2, 3 combination. Now all vegetation look red, roads look gray, and the water bodies look black here. We will be working with the image classification wizard for the segmentation. This tool generates images on the fly and that's why you can always go back, change your configuration if needed, and then finally create your final result. We will start with the supervised classification method an object best classification type. The classification schema is a file that specifies the classes that will be used in the classification. It won't be needed for this segmentation part, but we will need to select one to start the process. We will go with the default schema right here. It is called NLCD2011. This schema is based on land cover types used by the United States Geological Survey. In the next step, there are three main parameters here. Spectral detail sets the level of importance given to spectral differences between pixels on a scale of 1 to 20. Higher value means pixels must be more similar to be grouped together and lower means less similarity is required. We will go with 8. Spatial detail sets the level of importance given to the proximity between pixels on a scale of 1 to 20. We will go with a lower value as not all similar features are clustered together here. For example, the roads and all the buildings. We'll go with 2. In the next one, segments with fewer pixels than the value specified here will be merged into a neighboring segment. We will go with the default value here. Last one, the show segment boundaries only, determines whether the segments are displayed with black boundary lines. We will keep it unchecked because it might make smaller segments more difficult to see with an outline. In the next step, the wizard has created a segmented image. However, you need to remember as the classification wizard only creates the image on the fly, at full extent, the image is generalized to save time. But if you zoom in, it gives you a better result. It's always a good practice. Check out all different small parts in the image. After checking the image, if you are not satisfied, you can always go back to the previous step and change your configuration. For image segmentation, we won't need this training samples manager step. You can find the detailed discussion in the classification schema and training samples video. If you are only interested in segmentation, this is where we will stop. And you can always export this preview segmented image as a raster and store it. And when you store it, it actually gets saved with a better view as you can see here. To recap, we discussed what is image segmentation and then we also discussed how to perform segmentation with the classification wizard. I think this is a great stopping point. This has been Tesla Bytes, 
where we serve you GIS in small bites. Thank you for watching and please be sure to visit us at www.tessellations.us. Also, subscribe and ring that bell.